Hey guys, this is MJ with, with another tutorial about setting up your Redbubble store and uploading your first design. Well, Redbubble is one of the print-on-demand online platforms, which provides the designers and artists with the opportunity to upload their artwork or design onto the website, which will then print on variety of products Redbubble offers and ship to the customers who buy those products on demand with your design printed on them. Anyhow, to set up your store on Redbubble, Click on sign up and then select artist sign up and then provide your email, shop name and password and then click on sign up. Well our account on Redbubble has just been created and let's start setting up our shop. Here you can see that we need to fill these three sections to go up and running. Now let's start with the setup section and click on add avatar to upload your avatar image, cover image, attach social media links and write some bio. Now click on browse button to select your avatar image and then click on upload. And exactly the same way upload your cover image. Well it seems that my cover image didn't fit as expected. Anyhow I will change the dimensions and upload it again. Moreover it also has provided the cover image dimensions here. Now add your profile info like first name, last name and some bio. And you can choose to display your full name or the username which is your shop name. Well, I would recommend you to select all the notifications at this point in time to see whether how they will help you. And you sure can make changes to these notifications later. And here is your copyright shop name and link. And if you would like, you can check this checkbox to advertise your products in off-site marketing like on Google, social media platforms, email marketing, etc. And let's check this checkbox for mature contents under images setting and then click on save changes. And here it's letting you know that your changes have successfully been saved. Now click on dashboard and here you can see what you have added so far under setting up section. Now click on add a social link to add the ones you want to display on your show. There is a long list of social media platforms you can add, but for the time being, I'm adding my Facebook link only. And you can choose to display the up-to-date version of your show on your website or blog. Here just select the number of rows and columns to display. And then copy the embed code and paste it into your website or blog where you would like to display it. And then click on save. And now our social media links have been added. Now click on dashboard again and here you can see that we have added everything shown under setting up shop section. Now let's go to the get paid section to confirm our account and payment details so that we can open our shop and start selling. Let's click on confirm your email and so far we haven't received any email to confirm our email address. And it's just because that we haven't added our payment details yet. And as soon as we will provide our payment detail, we will be able to request Redbubble to send us the link by clicking on this recent confirmation button. So that we can confirm our email address. Now provide your personal information like residential address and then the postal address. And if both are the same, then keep this checkbox checked. Otherwise uncheck it and add your postal address. Anyhow, to get paid, click on this drop down to reveal the provided options. And here you can see that most of the options come with PayPal. And since we don't have PayPal in Pakistan, we can select the last option to add our Payneer bank account detail. Here you can see that even after selecting this option, it provides us with both PayPal and ACH direct bank transfer options. Well, as we know that PayPal does not work in Pakistan, but people in Pakistan still use PayPal account by borrowing it from their relations or relatives who live in a country where PayPal works. In that scenario, just select the first option to provide your PayPal account and after providing the PayPal account, you will receive a confirmation email to confirm your PayPal account to get paid. And if you don't have PayPal account, you can use your Payneer account detail to get paid. So to add the Payneer account detail, Select the second option which is ACH direct bank transfer. Now it's asking you to provide your banking information. And this is the information that you get from your Payneer account. Just sign into your Payneer account 
and then go to global payment services under receive tab and select your concerned bank account information here at this point in time Payneer has provided me with USA and UK bank informations which I can use to get paid from different marketplaces. Now select the bank information you want to provide to Redbubble and since I have selected United States dollar PayPal or ACH bank transfer option I need to select USA bank information and if you have selected transfer to UK bank account then you will provide GBP bank account information. Now let's click on USA bank account. And here you will find all the information Redbubble requires you to provide. Just copy and paste the required information in the concerned fields from your Payneer bank account to Redbubble account, which is routing number, bank account number, account holder's name, and bank type. And then click on Save Changes. Here, Redbubble is letting you know that your details have successfully been saved. And now we can send a request to Redbubble to send us the email confirmation link by clicking on this recent confirmation button and here you can see that we have just received the confirmation email and then click on this link to confirm your email address and here you can see that Redbubble is letting you know that your email address has been confirmed and you are set up to be paid by Redbubble now click on dashboard to see whether what steps remain and here you can see that we have completed all the steps under setup and get paid sections and now it's time to upload our first design to create our store now click on add design and then upload new work and here it's letting you know that minimum resolution of the file should be 1000 px and then click on open after selecting your design it will take a few seconds to upload your design well the design I uploaded is for 800 by 5000 px and is just based on some words. Anyhow, provide your well thought title, tags and description because these will help your design show up in the search. Well, if you want to add some background color to your design, you sure can by clicking on this color option. Now, it's time to adjust your design on the products unless I do a couple of them. Now, click on edit button of any product and you will be able to make changes. Here you can select color and increase or decrease your design size by using the slider and you can move it around to adjust the position. And when you will click on this drop down, it will show you the products that come under this category. And you can select any to see how your design looks on them. And it's also giving you design dimensions the best fit on this product. Well, every time you will move your design to adjust it on the product, it just misaligned towards the left side. And to keep it in the center, just click on these options to bring it back to the center. Now, click on this tab and select all options at this point in time because you never know what product can grab attention of the potential customer and make a sale. Of course, you can uncheck the ones you don't want to be out there, but for experiments, I would highly recommend you to select all the products in the beginning and also you can change the markup of each and every product individually. Well I'm not going to make any changes in the price at this point in time and then click on apply changes to save your changes. Now click on the edit button of the next product and here you can make changes exactly the same way you made in the last product. And here you can set your print product default, whether it would be front or back. Now click on the gear icon and this product will be offered in premium t-shirts, premium scoop t-shirts and long t-shirts and you can make changes to the markups if you want. And then just click on apply changes to save your changes on this product. And by default, some of the products may be disabled by the platform due to some reason which you can enable by clicking on this toggle button. And on some products, you will have repeat or choose pattern option which will repeat your design as many times as possible on the product like regular grid or offset grid according to the size or scale you will select. Now I have just adjusted my design on every product and you can choose two options here whichever you think is best describing your art or design. And here, if you select any product, 
that product will become your default product on your shop for this design. But instead of selecting any, I'm keeping it as recommended because the platform algorithm knows what product will be the best choice for this design. And here, let the platform know whether it's a mature content design or not. And then, check this checkbox for selling rights of this design. Now, just take a look at the products if you need to make some final adjustments. And then, click on Save Work. Now our design has been published and the platform is letting you know that it will take like 15 minutes to appear on your shop. And this is how the design will look like on the products. Well it doesn't look bad, but I think the position of the design is little lower on some clothing products and that definitely need to be adjusted. Anyhow go to your dashboard to see the changes. And here you can see that we have uploaded one design out of five. Now go to your account activity under account and here the first thing you need to do is to click on protect your work and select a watermark option. Here you will have some options to select from but the one I recommend is the last one. And then check this checkbox to discourage people to download your design. And then click on save. It will place a watermark on your design and the red mobile will make it hard for people to download your design. And this is how your design will look like when you set up your design protection here on Redbubble. Now let's click on message to buyer to add a message. And after adding a message, click on save message. And here you can see that our message has been saved. Now go to the product pricing to change the markup on your products. Here Redbubble has already applied a standard 20% markup on every product which will give you the retail price and your margin on the sale of a specific product. But you sure can change your markup on every product listed here. Well, what I have observed that most of the sellers keep their markup at 30% in the beginning. Unless I keep it at 25% in the beginning which will be more or less for some products. Anyhow, while editing the markup, you will see a link appearing under the box informing you to apply this to all products, which means if you click on this link, it will apply this markup to all the products. And since I haven't put too much effort searching prices at this point in time, I'm going to apply this markup to all products. And definitely I will change the markup for every product later. Anyhow, after applying your prices, click on this checkbox and then save new default markups button. And then click on OK to save your default prices. And here you can see that Redbubble is letting you know that your pricing settings have been saved and applied. Now go to the dashboard and select view shop under account. And this is how your shop will look like in the very beginning after uploading your first design. Now click on manage portfolio under account and then click on this gear icon and select promote products. And here you will be able to see your design on all the products. And if you see your design is not sitting well on some products, you can edit the position of your design which we will learn in future tutorials. And overall it seems good on all products except a couple of. Moreover, you can click on this ellipsis icon to download your image, copy the link to share and view the product page. And this is how the product page will look like. And you can share your products on social media platforms by clicking on this share icon. Anyhow, we have just created our shop on Redbubble and this is how it will look like and I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.